HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with everything you need to know about Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we have the latest Hiller sports update, including Hiller's boys and girls lacrosse highlights, plus playoff results from the many other Hiller teams in the postseason. Matt Clark will get you up to date with the upcoming HCAM programming, and Hopkinton celebrated Memorial Day with the annual ceremony at memorial locations throughout town. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. Hopkinton residents and community members Jen Belisi and Margie Wigan will be live on HCAM every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. talking about current issues plus town and national events. I believe so. Nine, Nine people, so a lot of new turnover. It'll be interesting to see with all the new growth in town what's right. happening. Right. You can also join the conversation by emailing or calling in to talk with them during the show. Head over to our website, hcam.tv, for more details. I think that there's been rumblings already about next year and the upcoming selection seat as well, about people that um, are looking to, to run for that position as well. Mm -hmm. I, I think moving forward, it's always going to be a heated debate. I don't think there's just going to be one person running on a post. Vinay Gotham won the Hiller Shark Tank Challenge, sponsored by the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce. The competition allowed students to present a business idea to judges, and whoever the judges decided had the best idea took home a thousand bucks. Vanayak won with his idea of a phone charger rental company that he and three of his friends started. This past week, the Treblemakers performed their spring concert to a standing room only crowd at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts. You can catch the full performance airing soon on HCAM and available on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. Hopkinton boys tennis finished their regular season 14 and 4 and are heading to the playoffs. This photo is a shot from their senior night festivities prior to defeating Medway via the shutout. On Monday, May 29th, it was once again time to pay respects to the heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country and freedom as we celebrated Memorial Day. Our local American Legion Post 202 once again teamed up with local boy and girl scouts to replace flags on graves and help put together a beautiful Memorial Day ceremony at the town common. Here's a look at the ceremony which as always had a huge turnout to honor our nation's heroes. I invite you to join me in your hearts if you'd like to as I, as I lead us in prayer. So let's pray. 
Our Father, today most of us have the day off from work to spend time with family, fire up the grill, and simply relax. But the members of our armed forces are working hard today to ensure that we have long weekends in our future. Today is a day to stop and solemnly remember that since the founding of our great nation, more than one million Americans have died in the service of their country. These brave men and women made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of freedom, liberty, and the values that make our nation great. Today is dedicated to those brave men and women of the U.S. Armed Forces who gave their lives to ensure the freedom of this great nation. It is important to recognize the unthinkable sacrifice they made so that the memory of these brave men and women live on. With the help of writer Susan Smith, I would like to read a poem to express my thankfulness. To all our veterans, far and near, we thank you for your service for all those years. You sacrificed your time and some gave your life. You preserved our freedom by willingly paying the price. Many of you were sent overseas. You were wounded in battles with scars and disease. But courageous and brave, you weathered the storm. You braved every battle with faith and beyond. So no one stands alone. We walk hand in hand. Remember, we are with you. Together we shall stand. On this Memorial Day, let us express our love and thanks for the sacrifice you paid, you served in honor for many years and days, and we will never forget how you were strong and brave. So I'll be short. I first want to thank God for holding off the rain and making the forecasters wrong again, allowing us the privilege of visiting each of the cemeteries and then sitting in our beautiful common and the, and the gazebo. I'd also like to thank the Veterans Committee, especially Mike Whalen for planning and delivering this event every year, Colonel Wilkinson and all the veterans for your service. Thank you very much. Over the past few months during the campaign season, I heard people say repeatedly that Hopkinton's changed. It's not the same. It doesn't feel right. It's lost its appeal. To that I say, I think they're wrong. I believe the reasons that people are moving here now are the same reasons I moved here 20 years ago. Today, people are still hoping to be part of this vibrant, accepting, and generous community. These qualities are evident in gatherings like this. The respect, the reverence, and the love of community that I witness here today and every Memorial Day here in Hopkinton remind me of how proud I am to be part of this nation and this very town. As many of you know, I've always said that this is my favorite day in Hopkinton because this is Hopkinton. Some people say it's the marathon, but this is Hopkinton. I think there's room this weekend for both leisure and remembrance. The key is to remember the why. Why today is a national holiday. Today we stand together to commemorate the sacrifices of American military men and women who have laid down their lives in service to this nation. It is worthy to reflect for a few moments on how we as a nation came to observe Memorial Day. The observance of this day was born of compassion and empathy in the midst of the horror and destruction of the Civil War. As the Civil War raged, grieving mothers, wives, and loved ones tended to graves of fallen soldiers. Soon, the tradition of a decoration day for the graves of fallen soldiers spread. After the war in 1866, shopkeepers in Waterloo, New York, closed their shops for a day to honor all soldiers killed in the Civil War, Union and Confederate alike. It was a gesture of healing and reconciliation in a land ripped apart by conflict. General Logan proclaimed May 30th as Decoration Day in 1868, and 14 years later in 1882, the nation observed its first Memorial Day. It was another wonderful job by Hopkinton resident and Post 202 adjutant Michael Whalen and our local Boy and Girl Scouts. You can view the entire Memorial Day ceremony airing soon on the HCAM channels or on our website and YouTube page. Coming up next on HCAM News, we have highlights from Hiller's Girls and Boys Lacrosse, plus the latest spring season playoff update. You're tuned in to HCAM News. Don't go anywhere. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, 
Located in this historic New England town since 1954, they are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Do you have what it takes? Will you make a difference? Always an adventure. Police and fire working together. Utilizing the latest technology. Do you have what it takes? My name is Margie Wiggin, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen, and they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. Welcome back to HKM News. The Hopkinton Hillers had perhaps one of the best spring seasons overall in school history. They did something that is a rarity for any school to do. All teams that could possibly qualify for a playoff spot qualified for a playoff spot. We first start off with the latest Hillers girls and boys lacrosse updates. Thursday, May 25th was a rainy afternoon, but it did not stop the Hillers girls lacrosse team from celebrating senior night and taking on the Bellingham Blackhawks and their regular season home finale. The Hillers offense exploited a young Bellingham team and struck early and often from start to finish. Taylor Pichel made it 1-0 Hopkinton. Shortly after, Lydia Rudden strikes for the Hillers second goal. Maggie Dolan nets her first of the game to put the Hillers up to a quick 3-0 lead. The junior Maggie Dolan then struck again. Dolan then gets an assist here. Natalie Calkins strikes for the fifth goal. Then a little later, Taylor Pichel nets her second of the game. Pichel then struck again, 7-0 Hillers with 20-49 left in the first half at this point. The scoring just non-stop for the Hillers, junior Martha Stoss made it 9-0 with this one. Off the stoppage, senior Sydney Joyce grabs a goal to make it 10-0. Hillers trying to get all the seniors in the scorebooks. Madeline McGuire strikes here for one. Hillers led 12-0 heading into the halftime locker room. The objective of the second half was to get Maggie Dole in the ball. She netted her third second half goal with 8.38 left. Senior Jamie Sullivan netted one with 3.49 left to make it 16-0. And then a few seconds later, junior Maggie Dolan did it again. This goal was a special one, however, as it was her 200th goal of her high school career. And she's still got a year to go. At this rate, she is going to maybe hit 300. It is a possibility. Maggie scored the 17th and final goal as the Hillers complete the 17 to nothing shutout. The senior night game was also a special one because it clinched a playoff spot. 
The Hillers entered the East Division II sectionals as the 10th seed and fell on the road against 7th seeded North Attleboro in a great battle that went down to the wire. The final score of the playoff game was 12 to 11, but it was a great finish to the season overall for the 2017 Hillers girls lacrosse team. Jade Figueroa, number one. Courtney Lindemann, number four. Kelly Henderson, number eight. Brooke Dennison, number nine. Rhea Bira, number 11. Becky Tynan, number 17. Congratulations, ladies. Now we would like to take a moment to honor our Hopkinton seniors who have dedicated four years to the Hopkinton lacrosse program. First, we would like to call out number three, Captain Taylor Pichelle, to be joined by her mother, Cheryl, and her father, Phil. Next, we would like to call out senior captain number 12, Maddie McGuire, to be joined by mother Valerie, father Bob, and brothers Jack, Bobby, and Andrew. <laughs> Next, we would like to honor Number 17, Captain Jamie Sullivan, to be joined by her father, Tim, and her mother, Laura. And we'd like to call out number 21, Sydney Joyce, to be joined by her mother, Kim, and her brother, Max, and Dad Tim is coaching a freshman lacrosse game right now and is really sad he can't be here, so he sends his love. Congratulations to our seniors this year. We wish you the best of luck and thank you for your dedication to our program. Hiller boys tennis, girls tennis, and baseball were also in the postseason action this week. Here is the latest happenings with those teams. 